Welcome back to Chow Town Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Peas World. This one's a doozy. Foreign feminists prove passport bros right. Mm hmm. Please like, subscribe below. I really appreciate the ask of that chow. It's Chow Town. To as parentage by estoppel. And it happens in a number of U.S. states. California is one of them. I don't know what the other ones are. Take a listen to this lawyer speaking on this topic. This is what the court said in that in that November 2015 case. This court stated that given its recognition that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will, which means even if you fuss and say, that ain't not my child, that's not, you know, that's not my child. I don't want to be the parent. It's not that he even volunteered to say, I'm the daddy, call me daddy, call. No, against this will, they made this this guy be the dad. Consequent, and then consequently, they burden him with the responsibility of paying child support. So what does this mean for the average brother who's hanging out with a single mom? What it means is, if she can get some- Shout outs to, to Dennis and, you know, O'Shea on this one. Want to write a letter or someone to come testify that, uh, you know, he took my child to school. He picked my child up from school. He 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 paid for my child's clothing. He took my child to the doctor. He babysat. He took my child to a baseball game, football game. But he overall spent his time with my child. And heaven forbid, they call your daddy or stepdad, right? So now what mm -hmm. are you basically giving them enough facts to at least allege wow. that you've taken on the fatherly role? So when you break up with your ex-girlfriend and you say, I'm done with you, you cheated on me, you broke the windows out of my car, I'm through with you. She can then go find a very find a family law lawyer, present to him that fact pattern, and then what? And then you get sued. You may not even have had a sexual relationship with the woman. That's how expansive this can go. So even if you're dating a single mother and then you interact with that child in any type of way that appears as if you are a parent. And if you break up, she can then use that against you. And then you may have to pay child support. And if you do have to go to court, and then you end up spending thousands of dollars to try to get yourself off the hook. They serious? They serious, huh? This is crazy. There, you know what? I changed my mind. I usually say, you know, if the single mother, you know, provides you value, maybe you want to date her. With this now, you know what, guys? Just stay away. I'm just going to flat out just one side on this one. Just stay away from single mothers. There's just so many downsides. There's very few upsides. This is worse than modern women. And I'm truly getting tired of hearing people say that real men will step up and take care of the kids. I'm sorry. If we want to go that route, let's just say a real man knows how to protect himself. A real man is not a fool. People that say these types of things are not aware of the depth in which men are at a disadvantage in the court system. And not every man has the money or capabilities to litigate these types of cases. So if I was a man in the world today, with the way the laws are stacked against men, there's no way I would even come close to a single mother. I'm sorry, there's too many things that can go wrong. False accusations, the potential to pay child support even if we're broken up. That's Anyone crazy. that has common sense is not going to put themselves in a position to be taken advantage of. At the end of the day, the potential for this to become a lose-lose situation is extremely... I've made my stance pretty clear on dating a single mom, but I'm just going to reiterate it. For some men, I don't have a problem with it. You know, there are men who can't have kids. They'll date a single mom. No problem. Some men, depending on your age... Maybe the landscape is the majority of women have kids. Maybe that's just the landscape. I don't know. Okay, but I would rather stay single for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, I will remain alone. And you guys know I don't want that. I believe men and women need each other. I believe I need a woman. But I would stay single forever if my only option was to date a single mom. 
now they start bringing in these weird laws and i don't understand why they do like why would you why would this even be a thing agreed why would this even be a thing in 2024 like feminists really went out of their way to make this law of a thing to where you can prove a boyfriend just because he was interacting with your child that he is now liable for child support that doesn't even make sense in most people's minds i don't get it but then in the same breath they will say the system is built for men i can't see it yeah the black community only cares about the liberation of black men they have no interest in liberating black people and the reason why they only want to liberate black men is because what they really want is white men's power in blackface and the black community has always been very much so anti-black woman anti-black trans anti-black gay they are what are they talking about black people love black women black men love black women the whole trans and everything else maybe so but yeah. are anti-marginalized groups because white men are anti-marginalized groups and this is why we'll never move forward what? we cannot move forward trying to free the most privileged group of people within our community we cannot move forward while the oppressed group in our community try to hold up the people with the most power and the most privilege the most people in your community are men that are incarcerated how do they have the most privileges oh my god but we continue to do this because all we're trying to do is get the power get the society get the respect that white men have and this is exactly why we talk about wearing bonnets in public and having couth and being refined we hold ourselves to standards of our oppressor and wonder why we continuously get oppressed the white people also don't We'll, 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 we'll shame, you know, single mothers with, you know, the hair curlers and stuff back in the day, too. It's very similar. When I even start with this, okay, this is the problem with a victim mindset, right? Because even if we acknowledge that black people are oppressed, there are going to be groups within the oppressed who are like, no, I'm more oppressed. My problems are more than yours. Yeah, we're all oppressed, but I'm more of a victim. Which is just one of many reasons why I hate the victim mindset. But this idea that black men are the most privileged in the black community, it cannot be backed up by any facts. <laughs> all it can be backed up by is male privilege. Because who's doing worse in school? Who's more likely to go to jail? Who's more likely to have a violent crime committed against them? Right? Who's more in the UK they have something called stop and search. It means they can just stop you and search you. Guess who that's happening to? Guess who that's happening to? Only black men, okay? Other than it the ain't fact Asian that black guys. Men make more money than black women. They do worse in almost every metric. I was having this discussion with my brother. My brother is much older than me, 23 years older than me. And I told him, I said, bro, black women generally believe that they have it harder than black men. He said, no, that can't be the case. They don't believe that. They do. They do because the feminist ideology is as a man, you have innate privilege just by existing. No matter what, doesn't matter your circumstance, doesn't matter where you were brought up, you as a man, you have innate privilege, which is obviously ridiculous. I'm pregnant, but my husband doesn't know that. What? Being your husband, he will have the responsibility to take care of your child, even if he is aware that he is not the dad? Indian feminists. It's traveling, guys, and India's pretty harsh with their feminism. Nobody can question you and the law is there to support you? What law? Okay, maybe it'll make sense if I read the whole thing. As a precaution, frame some false case <clears throat> against your husband so that if he plans to move legally, you can counter it with this. Contact any female lawyer and make sure she is a feminist so that she can help you more sincerely. If he acts more smart, then go for a divorce and claim good alimony and maintenance so that he can't marry again with his financial capability being and this is what women do they want to devastate the man to such a degree that he cannot live his life normal anymore this is how upset these feminists these women are at men we can't amicably like you cheated on him 
have a child that is not his, he doesn't know, and you're going to keep it that way, and then you're going to accuse him of horrible acts to even make it even worse for the man. Holy guacamole. Being a feminist, I wish you all success for your fight against the men. What? This is a joke, right? This post was written by Indian feminists, okay? And by the way she typed the post out, I'm gonna assume, based on the grammatical errors, that English probably isn't her first language. Why is it that feminist and modern women are the same everywhere. Why is there nothing unique about these women when they hold this ideology? Why is it so hateful? Why are they so spiteful and bitter and, and misandrist? Why is that? It's because of the ideology. The ideology itself is hateful and divisive. Why do you think she said, make sure the lawyer is a feminist? Because the lawyer is gonna hate men just enough to go through with this BS. You get a normal woman, she's gonna look at this like, huh? You don't deserve <laughs> Pretty much. That. But the feminists always think they deserve. That's exactly why you need a particular feminist. Because they, one, the feminist ones know more laws that are against men than normal lawyers. Because these feminists really want to destroy men. When men bitch and moan about women who hate all men, my immediate response is, whose fucking fault is that? Yours. There's nothing innately wrong with either men or women, and if you hate 50% of the population as an adult, it's your fault. What is wrong is promoting hateful, parasitic, gnostic, mind virus ideologies by encouraging people to universalize their own traumatic experiences into utter resentment of the opposite sex. So much so to the point that they become literally unbearable and get caught in a loop of confirmation bias, resentment, and loneliness. For example, capitalizing off the frustration that men who cannot find intimacy with women already feel by promoting them red pill MGTOW resentful incel school shooter ideology which makes them even less whoa 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 shut the fuck up bro school shooter ideology fuck out of here full of attracting women by turning them into an insufferable victim complex loser which in a self-fulfilling prophecy loop makes them more resentful and therefore entrenched in that ideology or feeding girls who are already hurt from a previous relationship yas girl boss queen resentful third wave kill all men feminism which turns them into such insufferable wretches that they're neither capable of receiving nor deserving the love that they're mad they didn't get in the first place i love this video because i've said it before and a lot of people disagree i love this video because i've said it before and a lot of people disagreed with me in the comments, and that's fine. But the deeper you go into red pill, it becomes feminism for men. It's the same. And I've I've showed it on this channel. I've showed super red pill guys and feminists saying the exact same thing. But this is where I would disagree with you a little bit, P. It is the loudest of the red pill versus the loudest of the feminists. And then I would agree with you that those two ideologies are literally opposites of each other. But there's a lot in between. There's feminists that aren't so loud, and then there's red pillars that aren't so loud. And there's plenty of red pillars that aren't so loud. There's quite a bit of channels. Your channel, I would consider somewhat red pill. You are part of the manosphere, P World. I am part of the manosphere. You know, Poor Man's Podcast, MTR. You know, Manosphere Highlights Daily. Those are very mild, very info, very not so really women hating ideology, not so incel shooting up schools ideology. We're just pointing out truths and pointing out things that women do. I hardly ever trash women. I hate, I trash the most horrible ones that I cover, but I don't trash women as a whole like that but just in reverse. Now, obviously the red pill is like a, a comeback to feminism, right? Sort it's, of. It's men that. fighting back against feminism. But if you go too deep into it- I agree. You just All right, I agree with you. I'll, I'll in agree reverse. With you. Here's the truth. There are a lot of people out there, men and women, who find it very difficult to come to grips with the fact, the stone cold fact, that men and women need each other. Mm. We really, really do. Hey, I promote it too, P. I promote it too. So yeah, people people posted this. I never actually watched this. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. Mm -hmm. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. 
Uh Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be Mm -hmm. safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, I know some people who agree with that. Yeah, I I know know some people who, yeah. Um, And I'm not saying that white (laughs) people in the industry are creating safe unsafe environment i'm not saying that that is not what i'm saying i am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may okay but it was really a microaggression and no one wants to deal with that while they're trying to make a game that they love isn't this like basically illegal for you to say like well we just don't hire fucking like imagine if somebody goes like yeah we just don't hire black people it's just nuts man this is insane, okay? But you're telling me, all this time, I've been cussing out EA when I'm playing FIFA. All this time, it's a bunch of niggas <laughs> fucking up the game? <laughs> this is what's going on? Calm because down, you're worried about hiring people down. like you? Man, there are some black people I have nothing in common with. I keep it 100 with you, okay? There's a lot of Asian people I have nothing in common with either. <laughs> when it comes to things like this, I feel like you should just focus on making a good game. Right? Because EA suck. <laughs> you suck. Bad. And maybe this is one of the reasons. When a woman says, I shouldn't have to ask him, he should already know. For example, for example, oh. they've talked about my guy his his job is to take out the garbage i don't understand why i keep having to ask him to do it he's not doing it all right so he should just know he should just know yeah take out the garbage is the problem the garbage isn't taken out or the garbage isn't taken out when you want it done Mm. like when you want it to my schedule i want it done now yeah is that the problem or that it's just never gonna be done and he'll just stack up 10 bags of garbage all around there i think it's more of It'll be done, but it's not on the timeline that I made up. That's pretty fair. Or that we discussed. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fair. And you shouldn't have to explain or talk or do anything because you're the authority now of what time it needs I am, to be done. You shouldn't I have am to do that. I am not his mother. I just yeah. want him to take you're it right. out, take out the trash. But he should be a mind reader of when that should be done, right? Yeah. Let's just make this fair here. How often do you think he wants intimacy and you don't just do it when he thinks about it? I cut the video short because I know how women's brains... Look, if you guys discuss the time frame to when the bins are supposed to be taken out, right? And he doesn't follow that time frame. Fair, right? But this idea that he's supposed to read your mind or he's supposed to do things on your time. I had this issue with my mother when I was 15, 14, right? She wanted me to do things on her time. I wanted to do things on my time. And we got into it for, for a couple of years. You will... Well, obviously, I was in the wrong because I was living in her house under her roof, under her roof. All right. I'm proud of you, P. I'm proud of you for admitting that. Take some accountability. You know it. (laughs) All right. I was going to say. As a grown man, you think I'm supposed to do things on your time because you rule me. You rule me. So I must follow your time schedule. I find that so, so interesting work if you guys want to go see the full video i'm going to tag the creator below but the reason why that kind of reasoning does not work for women is because they're more emotional versus logical so you bring up a very comparable situation and they will think of all the reasons why it is not a fair comparison logically though True. guys it is a pretty fair comparison they always say it we compare them to cars all the time used cars why don't i pay for a used car if you know for new prices I'm not in a car. But if you men are experiencing a similar situation where your woman is asking you to complete a task and she ends up doing it and she's frustrated because you don't do it within her timeline, the best thing that you can do is speak in emotion. So tell her how it makes you feel. Most likely it's that you're going to feel controlled and like you can't relax in your own home or that she is mothering you. And then follow it up with what you were planning on doing, what your timeline was. Even if this sends you guys into an argument 
this is all communication that needs to happen. True. You don't want to have her just stepping all over you because that pattern will continue on yep. and on again. And I'm telling you right now, if you have a woman that is having a hard time admitting when she is wrong, you might think at the end of the argument that you didn't get through to her at all. But trust me, if you've used those words that I just used, it will make her think. Shout out to P World. I actually do agree with them. You know, now that I have to really think about it, that yeah, once you, some of the men that do really fall deep into the red pill, go further in into the more extremes yeah it does get that way so my fault please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that and let's get you guys next time ciao